So in a previous video, I said this. So when a change happens, you need to adapt to that change. After you've adapted to the change, after a period of time, you need to assess how things are going. And then once you've assessed everything that's going, you need to make an adjustment. And I want to expand on that a little bit more and talk about these three stages of adapting, assessing, and adjusting. And I mentioned that there were changes in my market and changes to when I go to work and things like that that were the impetus for this. So what I, I'll tell you what I used to do and what I'm, what I am doing now, and then we'll talk about in the future uh, another project that's going on while I'm doing that. So what I used to do was when I commuted to work, I did rides. And I went into the office three days a week. And normally I did anywhere between two or three rides on the way into the office, usually taking people to the airport, train station, or just kind of picking people up along the way. And that made me a decent amount of extra income. This has never been a full-time gig for me. It's always been a part-time gig for me. I didn't drive a lot of extra miles and that was a bonus because essentially the only miles that really were extra, if you will, were the miles that I drove, say, to get off the highway and pick somebody up, come back to the highway and then take them to where they were going. A lot of those miles overlapped. If I picked someone up 10 miles away from where I work and drove them five miles down the road, those were overlapping miles. Those were miles I was going to drive anyway. Well, it's a different story now. So there's a few things that I've been doing to adapt. And the first thing is, I mean, I have a shorter drive now to work. The total drive time is still pretty much the same amount of time and distance, but I have to drop somebody off. It's near where I work. And so I can't give rides while I'm doing that. So in some mornings, I drop this person off and I can flip on my destination filter. And even though it's only five miles, I can pick up a ride. The great thing is what I've noticed is uh, it's usually surging right around the time that I drop this person off. There's lots of surge going on. So... For that five mile drive to work, I could make 13, 14, 15 dollars. So there's that. I can do one, maybe two rides before I get into the office. Another thing that I could choose to do is do rides on my way home, which typically in the past has not been very successful. I've done it a couple times since then. One time it worked great, and the other time it worked kind of so 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 what am i doing right now i'm adapting to my situation i'm trying to figure out what's going on i'm probably going to drive more on weekends in order to uh, get rides in and i may drive more on in the evenings or i may end up just doing more delivery on my scooter while the weather's still good so these are all ways that i'm adapting also, while I'm doing this, I'm assessing what's going on. So what days are going to be best out of the four out of five days uh, that I work? What days are going to be best for me to um, do rides in the morning, just that short little jaunt to work, or rides home in the evening? I'm assessing whether or not I should do deliveries on my scooter. I'm assessing whether or not I should drive in the evenings or drive on weekends, pick one day and go several hours. 
I'm assessing how my acceptance and cancellation rate affect things. So I'm doing all this assessing right now. I'm, I'm adapting and assessing. And then once I've kind of gathered all my information, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to adjust the way that I normally do ride share. And I don't think enough people do this often enough. They get frustrated with a change to the app, a change to their market, whatever the case may be. And instead of going through this process and trying to figure out how to take advantage of the changes that are happening, they just get upset. And it's kind of unfortunate, but this is the only way you're going to survive. Now, for me, it's not as big a deal, right? Because I do this part-time. I don't rely on this income for anything. It's all extra money for me. So it's not a big deal for me if I make $100 less in a week. It might be for you if you're a full-time driver. So what I want to say to you is if you're frustrated, listen, I understand. It's very, very difficult to deal with these gig apps, but you have to work with what you've got. And the best way to do that is the three ways that I mentioned. You need to adapt, you need to assess, and then you need to adjust and then keep going. So keep that in mind whenever anything changes, whether it's the app, whether it's your market, whether it's your personal situations, keep those three things in mind to adapt, assess, and adjust. And you know what? Maybe when you're assessing, you say, this isn't worth it anymore for me. And I'm going to go get a regular job, maybe for 20 hours a week, and then do ride share all the other time. Or maybe you decide to get a full-time job. Or maybe you're a part-time driver like me and you say, you know what? I think I can make a go at this doing it full-time. Whatever the case may be, adapt, assess, adjust. And I think that's how you're going to find success in this gig economy. My name is John from Ride Upstate. Thanks again for watching this. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any specific questions, please let me know. I would love to help you out. And remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.